Well, last episode, we said we needed to start drawing more games instead of losing them. We've started doing that. Only one problem. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 46, Football Manager 21. Don't forget, we do have daily Football Manager content Monday through Saturday here on the channel. So if you like what I'm doing and what you're watching, please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. So since last episode, we've played out a handful of games. Uh, we did lose 2-1 to one to Den Haag. Uh, Kernjik scored in that one. That's uh, two in a row for him. We beat Venlo 4 nothing. Kernjik, Resnick, and Vicario, the trio strike force, all contributing first-half goals, and we picked up an own goal as well. Groningen, a 2-2 defeat. We actually dominated this game, but needed a late goal by Danilo Mullenstein in the midfield to equalize. Same thing with Eindhoven, 3-3 draw, and it was an Anton Kernjik hat trick setting off. Uh, I mean, there were three goals in the first eight minutes of the match. It was kind of crazy. And then Vitesse, we beat 3-2. Resnick, Vicario with goals. They got a 90th minute equalizer. And then Gerber, uh, just seconds later after the kickoff, scored on a penalty to get the game winner for us there. We're going to have highlights against PSV momentarily, and then we will play FC20. This is actually a pretty good run of games for us. Vitesse was third when we played them, and uh, PSV FC20 currently sitting second and third in the table behind Villem. So honestly, picking up a draw already, or actually a win against Vitesse, Pretty happy with that, because these could all three have easily been defeats. So let's get into the highlights against PSV. Our defense was very solid in this one. Unfortunately, our offense uh, was not able to crack their defense too much. But here we are in the 68th minute. DeVos, we've moved him over, and there is a beautiful volley by Kernjik. And he slots that one past Makamba, and we held on for the one nothing win. They only managed seven shots, and we had 18. So that was huge, huge result. Nick Meyer out for a couple of days. DeVos picks up an assist. In key passes out of that wing spot. So we're going to congratulate him on that. And uh, taking a look at that tactic, uh, we have benched Servinka for the most part. Uh, this is how we're kind of playing DeVos moving over to the left side, which he can play there. Uh, not He's accomplished, so he is doing bits out there as an inverted winger, allowing Resnick to stay on the right as a true winger. And uh, again, something I had, I had read or somebody mentioned that you should not have inverted on both sides because then you end up with just a huge log jam in the middle and a lot of gaps on your sides so uh anyway with that victory we are currently in ninth position 44 points from 28 matches and uh playing pretty well 13 wins 10 losses five draws and a plus 17 goal differential as we are working on climbing. The good news is we're only three points behind Ajax in sixth position, and that puts us in striking distance of some of these top sides, especially if we can continue getting results here uh, with wins over two of the top four clubs. Currently, FC20 is going to be a tough nut to crack, uh, sitting in third in the table but we're going to have to manage it if we want to try to get in this uh, with six matches left in the season. So let's get up to the match. Well, as we're moving up towards the match today, we're going through some emails. We have officially become an established Arita VC team, 
and we have done that one year ahead of schedule so that is great uh, horrible news in training Melvin Gerber is out for the rest of the season with a broken lower leg that is bad news uh, luckily we do have that center back that we signed in the last window uh, Van Beckel so he will slot in there alongside Kaisela and we also have Samir to come off the bench let's take a look at our development center uh, here is the I know there's a way you can blow this up in editing, but I don't know how to do that. So if you know and want me to do it in the future, let me know in the comments. Uh, but you can see here, uh, this is the early uh, terrific group of players. Could be a real golden generation. A good Dutch right winger from Dondrek. Uh, that's the winger. A top prospect in the central mid. And one of our defensive midfielders and one of our goalkeepers. So. And then some other wide midfielders that look pretty solid. But I think we might have three or four real solid players there. Uh, also, we just brought in, so you can see the ones in green. These are the players that we just brought in that were released by other clubs. There should be 10 of them. So there's a few of them that we might look at signing. Uh, they're all 20 years old. Looks like all of them are 20, 21 years old. So there's a few that we might look at signing, three or four of them possibly. Uh, but we'll take a look at that. I'll, I'll do that off camera. And of course, we'll look at the youth intake later on. But let's get into the match for today against FC20. And so we're going to go with Kaiser in goal, Barisic, Van Beckel, Kaisela, Okachi on the back line. Gerber, of course, out with the broken leg. Grutunk and Meyer, the midfield partnership. DeVos is going to start on the right side. Servinka is going to get the start. Kernjik Vicario up top. Resnick will be on the bench for us. I'm assuming we'll be able to do this. Yeah, we are actually pretty short of fit players at this point. Pretty quick turnaround in matches. All right, let's give some early encouragement. We really need to pull this one out. We're handling possession. We're in the blue and white. Another soggy day here. Meyer picks off that pass up to Grutunk. Oh, nice ball in. Kernjik is there. Vicario slots it home, and we're in the 12th minute. And that's Vicario's 10th goal of the season. Not quite as prolific as he was in previous years for us, but certainly becoming the steady source of goals that we have needed. And that is excellent. That puts us up into eighth position currently. Edit out, Meyer's gonna track that. Barisic is there. Rutunk. Deep ball into Barisic, squared in. Cleared back out. Grutunk in the box. He takes a crack. And Kriznik gets his 28th of the season off of that rebound by Vasilev. And it's 2-0 in the 15th minute. Can we pull three stunners in a row over three of the best teams in the Netherlands? Big save by Vasilev. Kriznik gets to it. And it's 2-0. But we come right back to a kickoff highlight. This could spell trouble. I would like to see some defense turn around here at some point. Doesn't appear that that's going to happen. Through ball. Oh my goodness. Just, yep, good job just clearing it out. Just clear it out. <laughs> All right, we're going to give some praise now. Hopefully I give the shout of praise before they score a goal. Oh, Bessie. There's a big interception by Grutunk up to Vicario. And he is into the box. He rounds the keeper, and that's three. 
three nothing in the 28th minute and he rounded the keeper vasilev nursing some kind of injury and he was just out of position on that Prisnik slowed up right there to block felicia a little bit and vasilev just did not show the lateral mobility to cut that angle off when vicario took him to the outside that is huge oh my goodness i was not expecting this when i started this run of games are we really gonna take nine points out of nine from three of the top clubs here in the netherlands all right that one goes over that's that was a little lucky you know, we always tend to concede set pieces Praise and Kaisela off the set piece. That's his sixth of the season, and that makes it four nothing. Oh my! <laughs> Their backup keeper must really be poor, as he has just been harassed all day today. Definitely on sides. Kumberg kept him on, and it's four nothing. Things are looking very solid for us. We still have a long way to go. I mean, this match isn't over. I don't know that we'll concede four goals. We certainly could. We've shown that we have that ability. But, you know, even, even with a win here, we have got a long way. That turns it. Oh, Krisnik, he's through. Can he make it five? Oh my God, his 29th of the season, and it's 5 nothing. It is 5 to nothing. I think we're going to go in. Oh God, I shouldn't play with anything here, should I? All right, we're going to slow the pace down. I'm not going to do actual time wasting. We're just going to slow the pace down from the goalkeeper. Oh, and the team is playing lights out. This certainly will help. Oh, Mark Ho Young puts it past Kaiser. Five to one, and there is still 30 minutes left in this match. I hope I haven't started counting my chickens before they hatched. Oh, my goodness. We're going we're gonna to demand. Uh, no, we're going to encourage them. Going to give them the encouragement. All right. While we're building up here, we do have some tired guys. We're about 10 minutes past, so let's pull off Meyer for Dorenbach, the Loney, the Vos for Resnick. Now his fatigue is low. I don't know what his deal is. And Servinka for Malmstein. Let's go ahead and pull three. That's risky. We probably shouldn't have done that. But we were going to make that third sub near the 80th minute anyway. DeVos all the way down. Oh, and he got the bounce back right into his hands. That may have been a stroke of pure luck on his part. All right. Come on, boys. Praise them. I'm feeling safe now. Even if they score here, which they could. And he plays it back to midfield. We've got five minutes left. Four goal advantage. That's just a lot to overcome. Yeah, I hear you down there. Come on, boys. Oh, there's a crack, and Van Ginkle puts it in his fifth of the season. Oh, and look, Kaiser jumps on the ball. Good man. Good man. Didn't allow him to run it out. That was disappointing, but 85th minute. They've put three up top. 
come on. Just keep them out of the goal. Little flick on header back from Ben Beckel back to the keeper. A oh, nice header down. Malmsteen plays it through. Vicario's there, and he slots it home. His 12th of the season. Mullenstein, what an assist. That puts us back to a four-goal advantage, 6-2, to two, and we are going to pull nine points in nine from the three top clubs in the country, or three of the four at least. I think the only one, you know, AZ's been down in recent years. Billum is up there right now, top of the table. Crazily enough, this only is going to, this isn't going to do much in the table for us. Ten shots, eight on target, six goals from 2.14 XG. What a game. What a game. They've got to take credit for, for that. Up into eighth position. Three points behind AZ, one point behind Ajax. We've got goal differential big time on both of them. And we're only six now behind FC20. So we've given ourselves a chance. We have given ourselves a chance. Three goals, one assist, a 9.6 rating for Vicario. Taking a look at the squad now. 29 goals for Krizhnik, 12 for Vicario, 7 for Resnick, Gerver, Kaisela with 6 apiece. Oh boy. I wanted to look at Gian DeVos. 5 assists. So he's doing a great job out of that wing. Zervinka's got 3 goals, 4 assists, but you see he's only playing a 6-7-3, DeVos is playing a 7-3-9, and I think that's going to be a replacement, and Zervinka's going to lose his starting spot. I believe the rest of the season, that is great. Oh, my goodness. I think we are, we are done for the year except for the finale. I mean, we do have our run-in is Almere City, 14th, Ajax, 7th. Feyenoord 9th, Breda 18th, and Haravine 4th. That Haravine match is going to be huge. Not that we're going to be looking to catch them, but to have we're probably going to have to win that match to get the points. 15 points left to play for. 6 points behind FC 20 for Euro Cup next year. And honestly, Haravine's right there. The Tessie's right there, too. So we'll see. We'll be back for the final two matches. We'll have highlights and a match in the final episode for this season. Need you guys to let me know in the comments. So the goal here was to climb the ladder and become one of the top clubs in the Arita VC. Started off in the second division. And a year ahead of schedule, we are... A, an established Arita VC side. I don't think that I don't think we can count that as being a established club. I mean, as a as a one of the major clubs. I think we need to be getting into Europe and the top four every year for that. Let me know if you agree with that because that was the whole goal of this. It wasn't to win Europe or Champions League, although we would like to do that possibly at some point, but really to try to just become one, you know, to move into that dominant category and be one of the major clubs in the Netherlands. What's your opinion on what is it going to take to achieve that goal? Because that's kind of going to be the end of the save. Uh, and then we move on. I've got some ideas for the next save that will probably run the duration of FM 21, uh, you know, we're currently in March. So, you know, the new game typically comes out in October. So we're right about the point that I would need to make a switch in a save if we're going to do that. Um, my problem is I don't have two saves, but I think we're doing okay in the journeyman 
uh, nowhere near winning Champions League. And because of the concept of this year's journeyman, we can always bounce back down and, and build up again uh, like we did with Leicester where we dropped down to the championship and working to get them back into the premiere. And then once we have them established, you know, we can bounce back and forth quite a bit because certainly a different concept from most where you're just trying to always get to a bigger club. Uh, but in this one, let me know what your thoughts are. Hit the like button if you like what I'm doing here. Subscribe if you're new. And don't forget, daily football manager content, Monday through Saturday. Thanks so much for dropping by, and we'll see you guys. Take care.